Hey what's going on guys it's Bagas here and today we're gonna do a throwback to the 90s as we are reviewing the ultimate guide to Unix. And this will actually be our first look into a documentary that came on before One with Dinosaurs which should be interesting. The Ultimate Guide T-Rex is a 52 minute documentary which by the way is a really unusual runtime and as the name implies explores everything about T-Rex. It mostly has scenes of the paleontologist talking through the camera with a few scenes of the T-Rex itself sprinkled in between. As with my other science driven dinosaur documentary reviews, I am only going to be mentioning the major topics and the best way for you guys to view it is by watching it for yourself. The documentary starts with the history of the discovery of T-Rex alongside its early depictions in pop culture. The rest of the documentary gives a lot of information about T-Rex's anatomy, its environment, other fossils, and a bunch of other information. Another major talking point of the documentary, and one that you might have heard of before, is the hunter scavenger debate. Basically, Jack Horner thinks that T-Rex was a scavenger due to certain anatomical features which he concludes are evidence for the scavenger lifestyle, while pretty much everyone else in the scientific community believes T-Rex was a hunter because of the multitude of features like the jaw and eyes suggest that T-Rex was capable of hunting and killing other dinosaurs. If you want to know more about it, go watch a documentary or just look it up or you know, even search on YouTube, you know, I'm pretty sure you'll find some very entertaining videos about the topic. Personally, I don't feel like I'm qualified enough to talk about this in length, but I'm more in the line of T-Rex being both a scavenger and a hunter because most opportunistic predators today do both hunting and scavenging. The film ends with the explanation of the KT event and this T-Rex fight which is very funny out of context because it's just two animatronic heads waving at each other. Despite being as old as it is, The Ultimate Guide T-Rex is still a pretty decent science driven documentary. A lot of the information still holds up today as far as I know with, you know, obviously some outdated things here and there. The presentation of the documentary is focused and prioritizes delivering information to the audience in an understandable manner and the structure is also well planned going from one topic to the next. Obviously the visual department is where it lacks the most. But I think the filmmakers knew that because like 90% of the documentary is of real life footage which helps them to not have to make a lot of scenes of the dinosaurs themselves. With the little footage of the dinosaurs we did get, the print of CGI is understandably outdated and does not hold up well today at all. But the animatronic T-Rex they used actually looks pretty decent and the environments were chosen well to kind of make it seem less of a stand. Honestly, I don't really have much else to say. It's a decent science driven documentary made in the 90s before one with dinosaurs that if you want to learn more about T-Rex, it delivers a lot of useful information with excellent presentation. Just don't expect to see much of the actual dinosaurs themselves. Alright, um, tier list time. Quality wise, I give it a 4.3. Obviously, visuals wise, it's, it's not very good at all. But, I did appreciate the fact that, you know, since they, I think they kind of knew that, you know, they couldn't make visually the best so they kept it to a minimal and focus on the science aspect i think the fact that i think this might be the most science driven documentary i've reviewed yet and you know the information and the presentation also makes up for the, the lack of visual quality of the documentary uh, and the same wise i give it a 3.6 i'll be honest it's pretty boring I, i'll admit that it is pretty boring overall like, if you're looking at from face value, it is, <laughs> honestly, really boring. It's more, I, it's about, I don't know, I don't know if it's, like, on the same level as Dinosaurs Alive, but it's around there. Because, you know, there's not a lot of things besides science, but, but, if you enjoy the science, then I'm sure you'll find some entertainment. Just, you know, just don't expect anything that entertaining beyond the fact that the science is fun to learn. Rewatchability wise, I give it a 3.8. I actually don't see much reason to revisit it, but I mean, you can. I mean, you if you want to, you most certainly can, and you know, it's 52 minutes, which, you know, it's not gonna take up a whole lot of time. It's, you know, you know about uh, 12 minutes more than the 40 minute uh, runtime documentaries, documentaries that usually get a high score. But you know, I honestly don't think, like, you would, you, you don't need to rewatch it again. Like, you watch it once, and then that's it. You know, because like the information in there is kind of meant for you to take in 
once. But I guess, you know, if you want to kind of like revisit that information of uh, the understanding of T-Rex back in the 90s, then I guess you could rewatch it. And as for my personal opinion, I give it a 3.6. It's probably not something I'll ever watch again. And because, you know, it's not really my style. It, I I like slice driven documentaries, but I like I like to I like if the documentary also balances with scenes of just, you know, entertainment value. And this documentary is fully um on that science aspect, which, you know, I, I give it the benefit of the doubt. It was made in the nineties before one would die, so it's understandable. But you know what? I'm glad that I did watch it, you know, as an experience. And you know, um, I think that's really the goal of the documentary, you know, or I guess, you know, what I perceive to be the goal of the documentary, you know, you want people to watch it and learn something from it, and hey, I learned quite a bit of stuff about T-Rex on this documentary, and that gives it a total score of 15.3, putting it in the B tier, just above Dinosaurs Alive, I believe, I haven't checked the scores, but I believe it's above Dinosaurs Alive. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And, um, I don't really show was there any background noise after I recorded that, um, Discord Sash Year segment, but, anyways, yeah. But, um, yeah, I don't really have much else to say, really. Um, I mean, I guess I should say that the two reviews coming out this, uh, this month will be on the short side. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be shown in the Dynatasia review. But, um,. Yeah, just, just because it's it's Ramadan, which means I have to fast, so kind of trying to preserve my voice. But um, yeah, I don't really have much to say really. And um, yeah, um, yeah, I I I legitimately don't have anything else. To say. I guess one thing I will say is that it's kind of cool we get to see a documentary that was made before One Window Dinosaurs, and there is another one on my list of ones that I want to review. And, um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.